Samyang 50mm f1.4 AF lens Mark II. Don't buy it. The YouTubers told me because it doesn't have a good AF. And in the end, I've decided to buy it. And my findings are amazing. And I really want to talk about this lens in this video now. Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Tudor Matescu and I have here Samyang 50mm f1.4 Mark II lens brand, brand new. I've decided to buy this lens even if the YouTubers reported the fact that this lens it doesn't have a good AF. So, after I've bought this lens, I've used it in street photography and in event photography and in kit photography with my Sony A7R 3 And the results are amazing and I want to talk about these results. So, if you are liking content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel and let's get to the subject. The first thing that I want to address is why I bought this lens. Well, first of all, I needed a bokehlicious lens because in paid jobs and in even photography, people are liking bokeh and I'm not there to teach them photography. So, this is one reason. The next reason is because it's the lightest 50mm f1.4 lens that it's out there with AF. And this really makes me very, very interested regarding this lens. And yes, it's very, very light and uh, very, very compact. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And also I've looked at the rendering of this lens and I really, really like the rendering of this lens as we'll talk at the image quality. So these were the reasons why I've bought it. But I've got a problem and the problem was AF. Does the AF, it's good enough? Can I shoot kids with this lens? Can I do street photography? It will perform because as I've told you and as you have seen on the YouTube, some people reported that this lens doesn't have a good AF. And I was really, really in trouble regarding if this lens will perform well in video and especially in photography. And I'll talk about this at the AF chapter, but before I want to talk a little about the build quality. Well, what I don't like at the build quality is the fact that, yes, you feel that plasticky Samyang quality. I really would have wanted a better, better quality, especially at the lens hood, but also at the cap. When you are looking at this cap, you'll see that uh, this cap, even if it's brand, brand new, the markings, the text from this cap got a little uh, washed out, probably from my sweaty hands, but uh, but I've just bought it. I've, I've just bought it, it. And after one day, the markings from the caps was washed out. So I don't know if I receive it like that. And I didn't pay the attention because I was with my kids when I bought it. But regarding how this lens is feeling in the hand, I must add the fact that it's feeling very, very well. The um, focusing ring, it's uh, very smooth. And I really like the resistance of the focusing ring and the plastics that are on this lens, I feel they are a little better quality than this lens hood. So ignoring the lens and the cap, I must add the fact that yes, this lens is feeling well in the hand. The plastics are feeling uh, pretty well. It is not feeling flimsy. It's not feeling uh, like a lens that you can break it easily. But yes, when you will have an event with lots of kids running around you, you'll be a little worried because of these plastics. But what we can do? So overall, I feel the build quality is okay, but I feel that Samyang could have done a better, a better job. I really love the weight factor. It's very, very easy in the hand and it's staying very well on my Sony A7R 3 So now let's talk about AF with this lens. Regarding the AF in photography. This lens, this lens, it is crazy, crazy good. It is amazing good. I really don't remember to have from 5,000 pictures one that it's not in focus. I've used this lens on 
AF tracking, on eye tracking, and so on. So, in photography, in street photography, in event photography, in kids photography, I didn't had any any problems at all. I'm really, really amazed because I have some misfocuses with uh, Tamron, with other Samyang lenses, or uh, with some Sony lenses. But this Samyang, it really, really delivered at f1.4 in photography. So no problems regarding the AF in photography on my Sony A7R 3 I didn't make any firmware updates. So what I can tell you, the AF in photography, amazing, amazing good in very, very hard situations. So with fast moving subject in low light, in street photography and so on and so on and so on. So it really, really delivered. Regarding the AF in videography, I've used this lens just to film myself with my Sony A7R 3 And phew, amazing, amazing. I set this lens at f1.4 and I've let the camera on AF with eye tracking. So didn't had any problem, didn't had any uh, focus huntings at f1.4 with eye tracking and this lens was taking me from this angle where the eyes aren't straight looking into the camera. So this lens was keeping focusing with my eyes at f1.4. The lens that I'm filming now, it is a Zeiss Sony 35 meters f2.8 and this lens it is hunting, but this lens didn't hunt at all. So very, very good performance in AF videography and in AF for photography. So really no problems regarding the AF. So I really can't understand what the YouTubers are talking there regarding the AF problems. So excellent regarding the AF. Now I want to talk about IQ and image quality. I was afraid that this lens was sharper and maybe unnatural sharp like this 45 meters f1.8. This lens is very, very sharp, but I really don't like so much the rendering of this lens. It's okay, but I really feel that for this 45 meters f1.8 lens, I need to move the slider of the clarity down. But with this lens, but with this lens, I don't know. I really, really like the sharpness. It's feeling natural. It's feeling okay. I really, really like it. So no problems regarding the IQ and the sharpness. It's very good in printing and also in JPEGs files. As you can see here, I've printed some images because I was very, very curious and they are looking very, very organically. So no problems regarding the sharpness. It's a natural sharpness. It's a beautiful, beautiful sharpness. I really, really like it at f1.4 and also at the other apertures. Of course, we'll see some purple fringing in some situations, but there aren't big problems there. But again, I must add the fact that uh, lots of YouTubers are uh, talking about purple fringing on a camera with a big sensor like Sony a7R 3 from what I'm knowing, these cameras with 47 megapixel are prone to make a lens to purple fringe. Also, this camera doesn't have an anti-alias filters. So the sensor in this situation, it doesn't help the lens regarding the purple fringe. But as I've said, purple fringing for me, it's not a problem. I really didn't saw any real life pictures that were ruined by the purple fringe. And at 47 megapixel, if I see there a little line of purple fringe, I can correct it in Lightroom very, very fast. So overall IQ from my point of view, it's 10 out of 10. Really, really love it for what this lens is and also at, at what price this lens is coming and also at what weight this lens is coming. So now I want to address the homogeneous factor of this lens. I really, really loved how this lens performed on my Sony A7R 3 It was great, great, great. The AF very fast, the F1.4 very fast. You have here a custom button and you can use the ring to change apertures. Also, you have a focus hole button that you can customize and so on. So it's really, really nice and fun to use on your Sony camera. Also, it has an extraordinary good minimum to focus distance for an f1.4 with AF and the 
the results were were great were great and also the camera was very easily to maneuver with this lens and i really like the feel of this rubber texture focusing ring so it's staying very well in the hand it's uh, the results are amazing it's a lens that it's really motivating you when you are taking pictures for even photography but also for street photography and i really loved how this lens performs in street photography and because i felt so good watching and seeing the results i've got extraordinary good pictures and extraordinary good mojo and this helped me to take pictures like i'm taking pictures with a small camera and i want to do in the future a video regarding big camera versus small camera in street photography and i will talk there more about this so please be sure to subscribe now now to my channel to see when i publish that video so Samia 50mm f1.4 it is great for street photography you can really do street photography with this lens of course it's not an everyday carry but if you are planning a street photography work then it's a go-to lens if you really want some special and magic results now regarding the portraits i really love this lens for portraits the bokeh it is beautiful beautiful smooth the rendering of the portrait it's extraordinary the black and white tones the colors and so on so i really love this lens for portraits and this was the main reason why i've bought it another reason is that i wanted to use this lens for kids parents are liking pictures with their kids with a bokehlicious lens and i also like to use a bokehlicious lens for documenting kids movement for documenting kids um, expressions and this lens it's really helping you to get those moments to get those facial expressions so you can use it at f1.4 or maybe if you want more depth of field you can use it at f5.6 f2.8 depending on the situation in conclusion it's samyang 50 minutes f1.4 deserving the price I think yes, yes, definitely yes. I really love the fact that it's light, easy to carry. And this was for me a big, big thing. But I had a problem how I've said if AF is working or if AF it's not working. But the AF it is crazy, crazy good, crazy accurate, crazy accurate so it's really deserving the price and more than that a 50 millimeters f1.4 small acceptable small it's an amazing lens that it's able to help you to get the job done you can do an entire event with just one lens this lens it is very very suitable to do all the shots that you need candid portraits post portraits documentary photographies details bokehlicious shots and so on so i've made an entire event with just this lens yes i needed a wider lens for the group shots and i've used a wider lens but all other photos were taken with just this lens on sony a7rc you can put your sony camera in aps-c mode and this lens will become a 75 mm f1.4 and the bokeh i feel it is better better than a 50 millimeters on a APS-C body so it's a very very good lens to be used in all kinds of situations it's a go-to lens for even for photography for paid photography for portraits but also it can be a very very fun lens for street photography i really really recommend it because how i've said it's very very light and it's staying very very well on your sony a7 camera so extraordinary lens for the sony system that uh, it really amazed me thank you for watching this video and please subscribe now 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 to my channel because i'll post more content regarding sony gear photography gear tips and tricks thank you for watching and talk to you soon bye bye